this week, Anthony was looking at the new Star Wars action figures. US toy manufacturer Hasbro came under fire in recent weeks when it was revealed an action figure playset for the upcoming Star Wars The Force Awakens containing six action figures somehow managed to overlook all of the movie's major female characters. Daisy Ridley's Rey, Carrie Fisher's Leia, and Gwendolyn Christie's Captain Phasma were omitted in favour of a bunch of dudes. It's a puzzling phenomenon that seems to be happening more and more. All of the Avengers had their very own action figures in time for the cinematic release of their first team-up movie, except Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow. When it came to merchandise for the Guardians of the Galaxy, Zoe Saltana's green-skinned Gamora was given the short end of the stick. Currently in cinemas is Mockingjay Part 2, the final instalment of the Hunger Games series that features Jennifer Lawrence as tortured heroine Katniss Everdeen. She does have her own action figure, but as the Hunger Games draw to a close and a new wave of Star Wars movies is set to take over, do we run the risk of losing all our female characters from our merchandise? Now, looking into this further, it seems like they only make female characters into action figures if there's something damaged about them. <laughs> Do you have any evidence to support that theory? I'm glad you asked Elizabeth here. <laughs> <laughs> here is the actual Katniss figure from the Hunger Games, the actual cat the actual reenactment of a Katniss figure in her skin tight bodysuit. <laughs> That I've drawn on with a texture. <laughs> and I think it has a button in the back. Let's hear. I know only death and loss. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I think she says more things. Hang on. My existence is trauma. <laughs> I'm going to keep on pushing for that silver lining. My pursuit of basic human rights has cost me everything. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, Elizabeth, actually. Did you, did you play with action figures when you were younger? Um, not really, no. I think I had a Gumby one. But um, I don't think it really matters, because as far as I understand, they haven't brought out any female action figures for Star Wars, but they have brought out a range of makeup. So I'm set. <laughs> that's all I care about. I think that's all you need, really. I, I feel the Hunger Games... <laughs> I didn't mean it literally. The Hunger Games is picking up the slack where Star Wars is leaving off. In fact, the second Hunger Games movie won the year in terms of box office. It was the first movie in 20 years to do that and have a female for a main character. Do you guys know what the last one before that was? Uh, ooh, Cinderella? Uh, Legally Blonde? You're close. The Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? 12-year-old Reagan, possessed by the demon Pazuzu, has her own action figure. That's right, that is specifically Spider-Walk Reagan, oh which is a scene cut out of the theatrical movie. <laughs> You know who else gets an action figure? Marla Singer from uh, the movie Fight Club. <laughs> there she is. These all actually exist. The writers have all dug these out. This is the Stephen King's carry action figure. And you'll notice with this one, you have the choice of pre-blood soaked <laughs> or post-blood soaked. <laughs> Oh, but, uh, Anthony, I see where you're going here, but you know what? Star Wars actually did depict a female character um, as an action figure. They made Princess Leia an action figure, didn't they? Oh, they did, they did. And do you remember, Michael, how they portrayed her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's Slave Leia. Now, they found the five minutes of screen time that Princess Leia spent wearing a metal bikini against her will and turn that into T-shirts and Halloween costumes. <laughs> You've got to love it, right? Do you guys know what my favourite action figure of all time is? Do you guys remember the TV show Lost? Do you remember Shannon? I definitely don't. <laughs> no, not even a little bit. Well, she has her own action figure and here it is. 
<laughs> I say, that's very different to the Princess Leia one. I mean, her bikini is not made of metal. So. <laughs> exactly, but it is an action figure. Now, what action does the Shannon figure actually take? Let's, let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I think that's it. There she is, sunbaking. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, there is a real problem with women in advertising and merchandising, isn't there, you know? But as long as there's a choice between sexy slave girls and the severely mentally traumatised, you know, you got one or the other. <laughs> I personally prefer the crazy ones because at least they're active, they have a sense of agency. <laughs>